Actually, Jayanagar is one of those places where if you live there for a while, then any other neighborhood of Bengaluru falls short. And the planning that's gone into it with the broad roads, tree lined avenues, look at this. You've got this park that runs across the entire length of the road. So in Jayanagar, there was really no excuse to not getting your exercise to not walking. Every neighborhood evolves and uh, many change to such an extent that you don't recognize what it used to be earlier. But I think in Jayanagar, the core of this neighborhood is so strong. So this is uh, in a manner of speaking where a lot of Jayanagar would congregate. Hi folks, hope you're doing well. It's past 9, actually 9.12 on a Sunday morning. I couldn't get up early to go for a ride because I was out last evening and then I had some work, uh, something to finish and so that kind of wound up pretty late in the night and nonetheless I've decided to go for a short ride. Uh, the sun is blazing, it's going to be a little hot but I've decided nonetheless to just go out for a, to step out for a short spin. Well that's 175.5 kilometers from my last ride to Mulbagal Toll. It is going to be a much shorter ride. Today I thought I'd just ride through a neighborhood. A neighborhood that I'm very fond of in Bengaluru is uh, Jayanagar. Jayanagara. I haven't been there in a while. And uh, today I thought I'd just ride through the old neighborhood. In fact, I spent many years in, in and around Jayanagar when I first moved to Bengaluru. And therefore, I have, uh, I love the neighborhood. Of course, also these days in Bengaluru, if you're riding late and you want to ride in the city, it's also a process of elimination that's determined by is there work, construction work happening somewhere, metro work happening somewhere, are the roads dug up, is there a flyover coming up. And uh, so therefore, I think on that count, Jayanagar is what I felt I should ride the words. This is a dairy circle flyover now. My horn has a bit of a loose connection, so, so every once in a while that wire keeps popping off and so there's no horn and right now that's what I've just realized. When I stop somewhere I'll fix it. But until then, if I want somebody to, you know, make way, then uh, there's no recourse but to rev the engine, like this. Nemans on the left and right. Traffic isn't so bad. Yet. I hope you caught the last couple of uh, motor vlogs and uh, it was nice to catch up with the boys after a very long time ride to our old uh, haunt which is uh, near Mulbagal Taul Woodies so I hope you caught both the vlogs on that ride from that ride today of course is much shorter We go straight and we hit Lalbagh. But we're gonna take a left. <laughs> Further up towards Jayanagar. Hello. One of the things that I loved about living in Jayanagar was uh, the ease of access to Lalbagh which is right here on the right So you get into your car early in the morning in a few minutes you are in Lalbagh Actually, Jayanagar is one of those places where if you live there for a while then any other neighborhood of Bengaluru falls short 
and uh, it's also one of uh, Asia's largest planned uh, neighborhoods, right? When they first uh, formed Jayanagar. And the planning that's gone into it with the broad roads, tree-lined avenues, you don't find that anywhere else in any other part of Bengaluru. Of course, a lot has changed since. A lot of commercialization and all of that, but notwithstanding that, I think the basic character of Jayanagar remains the same. First block, this is a landmark Ashoka pillar. So when I moved here first, you know, I didn't really know the place. Namaskar Apu sir, happy birthday once again. God bless his soul. So I didn't know the area as much. So your landmarks would be, when you reach Jayanagar, is when you hit Ashoka pillar, if you're coming on this side. All these were houses back then. Now you see large stores, but all these are large houses, so you can just imagine the, the size of the plots. The beautiful bungalows that once stood on them. The plants, the trees. It was awesome. My horn is not working. Much has changed since. But the park still remains, so Madhavan Park to my left. And uh, this is a park that I used to bring my daughter when she was little. That's the other beautiful thing about uh, Jayanagar too, there are parks all over. The basketball court here. Some of these old houses, old plots still remain. I think many of them still remain actually. And if you had any shopping to do, well, this is where you came. Fourth block. Right from branded shirts to uh, fruits, flowers, coffee. Everything that you needed was found in this. All the fresh produce was found in this lane. And uh, there was a market behind in this area. Very quiet, very deserted now, but if you come maybe a couple of hours later and especially in the evenings, there won't be space to even walk. This is a new market that they have uh, built, but doesn't quite uh, have the same feel I suppose. The Jain temple, another landmark here was Suksagar, one of the only few eateries that was around then, and uh, the Ganesha temple, prominent landmark. So this was one of my favorite roads, I think we'll just ride on that once we will come over from the other side. So this is the fourth main road, and uh, the road that runs all the way along uh, one edge of Jayanagar. You got seventh block on the other side, you got fifth block, fourth block on this side. And it was also called the Nanda Takis Road back in the day. Because uh, there was Nanda Takis at the very end of the road. At the beginning of this road is uh, 
south end circle of course there was no flyover back in the day but just look at this they've uh, chopped some of the trees etc on one side for the metro but still look at this you've got this park that runs across the entire length of the road so in Jainagar there was really no excuse to not getting your exercise to not walking let's just go the other way for a bit and uh, this is a road that uh, breaks off into Banashankari I think you go past this road which is uh, the road that leads up to Yadiyur on the right past this road is Banashankari we are going to go back on this road go back towards Jayanagara we are not going into Banashankari today take one of these lanes going in 38th cross that's the other good thing about uh, this area it's very easy to find places by the crosses and mains so I mean even look at the this is an internal road an inside road of Jayanagar look at the uh, width of the road very well organized footpaths of course the landscaping from inside the house in some cases has stretched to the outside as well but large plots again There used to be an Iyengar bakery somewhere here Look at the size of these houses Massive So that was 38, 37th This is 36th cross so you've got two parks that run on both sides of 4th main road so you've got one here and you've got one on the other side there of course the road's gotten a lot busier from back in the day back in the day I could do go from Jayanagar to Taj West End which is where my office was in uh, about 12 minutes or maybe 15 minutes stops and not even driving at a leisurely easy pace I've seen a lot of change been through a lot of pain some things are not the same as they were a year ago and the good thing here in Bengaluru is they really uh, maintain the parks very well Right, so there's fencing, there's gates everywhere. More of Nandini. So every uh, prominent corner you will always find a Nandini. But I'll be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays. Way back a year ago. So this is a road that uh, actually is the border of Jayanagar and on the other side is uh, JP Nagar uh, Technically it was also called Jayanagar 5th block So there was a time when I lived in an apartment block just past this road called Adarsh Palace And uh, Jayanagar was right here So I would walk down that road and uh, hit one of the parks This also used to be a nice uh, walking sort of a routine Theo Broma, the changing face of Jayanagar from the Darshinis to Theo Bromas Every neighborhood evolves and uh, many change to such an extent that you don't recognize what it used to be earlier but I think in Jayanagar the core 
of this neighborhood is so strong be it in terms of the design the architecture the the topography the plants the trees and more importantly the people that although you know it's modernized hugely in pockets it's kind of you know you can see many many new things but the character of jayanagar even if you come after let's say 10 years you'll still recognize it you know that's a beautiful part about jayanagar it hasn't changed beyond recognition look at this a tree droopily falling onto the road <laughs> so when i used to walk down this road i would always look at all these beautiful uh, bungalows and uh, one of my dreams always has been to do a home office so where i have a space that's large enough for home and uh, a large studio or office of sorts and uh, when i would walk down this road and look at many of these houses i would visualize that more parks i think proportionately jayanagar has the most number of parks in bengaluru i don't have the numbers or the stats but uh, you don't find these number of parks anywhere in bengaluru you just find narrow strips of green here and there of course that even is plenty in many cases but in jayanagar everywhere you go there's a park so there's really no excuse for you to say i don't have a place to walk if you want exercise well you'll get it everywhere here Should I stop for a cup of coffee? I always back my motorcycle in, so it's easier for me to take it out when I need to take it out. Because wielding a 40 kilo motorcycle is not easy by any standards. Not a 40 kilo, sorry. What am I saying? 400 kilos. So therefore, when I park, I always park with my nose out, my front out. so it's easy to just get on it and ride out as opposed to the other way around kammi irte kammi sweeter hote sorry ha hale kodiya idre kammi irliya sarva strong irli ko 50 varike thank you thank you good coffee it is a coffee and uh, not too much of the sweet i think that's a good thing about bella it brings sweetness but it brings with it that earthiness so back in the day you didn't have these many coffee shops you had some darshinis which were there of course but uh, you basically had good coffee that was brewed at home so you walk into anybody's home in jayanagar and you were guaranteed that you would get a good cup of coffee not sure if you got the same at that police station though <laughs> just joking so there are two things that define jayanagar one of course is the planning of the place the roads uh, the wide mains the wide inner streets too and then the greenery whether it's the trees that you find all over and the parks well done with the coffee now and uh, time to head back so today actually i also had a bit of a ache in my right leg near my heel so i wasn't sure whether i would uh, i should ride or not and uh, with great difficulty i got my feet into the shoe because i've been traveling this whole week Uh, we were in Chikmangalore doing some shoots, and one of the things that I want to do is basically cover parts of Karnataka that I haven't been to earlier. Hello, how are you? I'm a subscriber. Okay, nice you. thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. See you. Well, always nice to meet subscribers, and uh, so one of the things that I want to do is cover parts of Karnataka that I haven't uh, covered yet. So Chikmangalore was one of 
those places. Of course, a lot of coffee there. So I just did an extensive shoot in Chikmagaluru. I've got uh, a few other places on my mind. Shimoga is on my mind. I've got certain other parts of Karnataka too on my mind that I want to cover soon. And uh, so I was on the road, and today I just felt like I wanted to just ride and get away from it all. So I'm glad I did this ride, although a very short ride here in uh, Jayanagar. It was nice to connect back once again to the suburb where I spent uh, many, many years when I first came to Bengaluru. Just love the vibe of this place. There also used to be a Mayas there which has moved down the road. So that was again a landmark. So you had this uh, kate here where people would just come and sit with their cup of coffee. And uh, I think they have moved to their own building two uh, doors down. This was the Maya's corner. And of course, right opposite now, you also have a Hatti Kapi. So this is, uh, in a manner of speaking, where a lot of Jainagar would congregate. The Ganesha temple there. This goes to 4th Main Road. Uh, and then you've got 4th uh, block beyond that. This side you go towards more of the residential places, the houses. I think I should get my thumbnail somewhere here. This is one of the parks that I would come I would come to because from my place this wasn't too far. And you got the entire stretch that you could walk all the way from the end of the road till this cross. So I think if you did one round, it was a good uh, kilometer plus. Very long, not too wide, but you got plenty of exercise. And always shaded. So even if you came a little later, you could still get your walk without the sun. I think now they have timings for these parks, but earlier they never had any such thing. Well, that was 7th block, 4th block, 5th block. Now we're riding towards 8th uh, block. Via 38th cross. Road work happening here. Like many plots of Nama Bengaluru. The season of road work. So I think this part of Jainagar was the more, uh, I think the more compact version. I don't know if it came up later, I'm not sure. So the roads here are uh, still the same in terms of character but the roads are but the houses are smaller the plot sizes are smaller etc there are not so many parks it's a nice one a children's park i'm sure there must have been some logic some reasoning as to the plots being bigger on the other side and not so big here. I guess to also accommodate all budgets, all pockets, I suppose. And this is also where the greenery etc. starts thinning out a bit. I'm going to be passing by what is now, what is, has become a landmark. Wasn't there when I first moved in, but came in maybe 10 years ago, I'm not sure when. But uh, Taza Tindi, look at the queues of people here. Lining up for the tindi, for the breakfast. This is the sort of day that is perfect for the Nelnir. You'll also see Tatu Nungu. So that was it. I think our tour of Jainagar is over because uh, I think now we are on the fourth T block on the left side. and uh, which goes on to Tilak Nagar, if I'm not mistaken. I spent a lot of time around uh, the main areas, that is uh, seventh block, fifth block, fourth block, first block, third block. And we have exited Jairagar. So that was it, my shot. 
a tree even when it loses all its leaves still is so magnificent nama bengaluru nama bengaluru namdu uru bengaluru so anyways uh, that's the end of my uh, rambling uh, conversation through jayanagar uh, just thought i'd share it share this uh, do this small ride for my sake and also share it with those of you who perhaps have some memories in jayanagar if you haven't visited jayanagar definitely drop into nama bengaluru's best best part well one of the best parts there are many best parts to bengaluru but i think in terms of a residential locality i think it certainly is the best just felt like riding in that direction and been there in a while and thought i'd take you along for the ride hope you found it interesting if you did give this vlog a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to the kripala mana vlogs channel please do subscribe it really helps the work that we do i'll see you on the next one bye